I'm Jesse Ransom. I'm the Teaching and Learning Product Specialist and Community Manager at Ex Libris. Um, generally speaking, the work that I do with Ex Libris is focused on how the library supports teaching and learning on their campus, ways for the library to increase their contribution to teaching and learning, and therefore their support for institutional initiatives such as student success or affordable learning. Um, essentially, ways that the library can work more closely with teaching and learning. The Social Learning Across Content effort is a group of people and organizations working together to ensure that all users will have a high quality and integrated experience across the different platforms and content that they use in their learning. I believe that the idea of social learning in the digital space or the ability to collaborate around learning content is only going to become a more critical part of the learning experience moving forward. The act of reading something or watching something or researching something generally occurs when you're sitting by yourself. It's a very solitary experience, but when you're able to share your comments about that reading, your questions, your opinions, reflect on maybe the experiences that you've had that impact your understanding of the content, that's a whole different kind of learning. And that's transforming the experience of learning from a passive one to an active one. And this is so exciting. Um, you know, it's exciting to me, it's exciting to many others. The implications around social learning, the possibilities of social learning in a digital space um, are, are only going to grow. You know, people are social creatures. We're looking for ways to connect, to collaborate with each other, to build out shared experiences. If that wasn't clear before, we can certainly see it now, two years into this pandemic. And of course, the pandemic has also you know, pushed many of our social interactions to the digital space and the learning interactions also are moving to that digital space. And as more and more people and organizations are beginning to or continuing to explore this space and look for ways to innovate, it's become essential that we come up with this shared understanding of how the technology should work how social learning can work across different technologies, different platforms, different content, to do that in a way that, um, as I said before, ensures that all users, regardless of where they're coming from, which resources they're learning from, which technology they use, the Slack initiative is a way to ensure that we're moving forward in the best possible direction, that we're addressing head on the challenges that we either already know about or that we can anticipate, you know, thinking about this within the context of the organizations that are using this technology or will be using it, as well as the end users um, who will be interacting directly with social learning technology. First, Ex Libris has incorporated social learning features into Leganto, our course materials solution. And you know, generally we understand the value that collaborative learning or social learning brings to students in the digital space. We understand the potential impact that social learning can have on instruction. And moving forward, we want to ensure that our support for social learning uh, within our products provides a great experience for our customers and end users across the different platforms or content that they may be using. Um, also, uh, Ex Libris understands, you know, more generally the importance of interconnected systems, the role that standards play in enabling work or data to pass across different systems. We've always worked to build open interfaces for our customers to operate under a strategy of openness and transparency. We take pride in supporting standards. In some cases, we've even taken an active role in setting those standards, such as with open URL. We're members of various NISO committees as well. Uh, we work very closely with our higher ed community and we've always been an active partner or participant in that community. And this is really no exception. We're excited to collaborate on the SELAC initiative and we see that it's a valuable initiative for our higher ed community. 
Others should consider joining the Slack initiative because it's a great opportunity to make sure that um, as this technology is developed, as the you know, new ideas come up around social learning, we can ensure that users will have the best possible experience and that social learning technologies will really provide users with um, valuable learning opportunities.